just like driving that dump truck around. Goddamn right I do. All right, um, I'm heading to the old sawmill. They got a couple of storage tanks there. They should have all the creosote we need. The old sawmill? Last I checked, there was a horde there. Big goddamn horde. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty sure I knew that. What, you still got a death wish? I mean, even after finding your old lady, <laughs> Deke, we're gonna get her back. Who's man? No, no, I don't. Look, I can handle this. Just be ready. I'll radio when it's clear to bring your rig in. Deacon out.
Yeah, Ricky. Boozer just told me you're heading to the old sawmill. Uh, yeah, and Boozer has a big mouth. He is head of security. He has to tell me. You remember when I took you to the sawmill, right? You remember me showing you the horde that lives there? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. The really big horde that lives, sleeps, and eats there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I remember. Uh, look, Ricky, when I was with the militia, they, uh, we, <laughs> we created a sort of souped-up Molotov. A souped-up Molotov? Yeah, yes, it's like napalm. Anyway, trust me, I got this. We need you, Deke, alive. Ricky, just be fine. You don't gotta worry about me no more, okay? I know what I'm doing. <clears throat> Ricky? Yeah. I'm, uh, just lighting some candles. Okay. And in, in this case, some big goddamn Molotovs, but, you know, you get the idea. Yeah, okay. Deacon out. More bounties. Holy shit, dude. Looks like I missed all the fun. Yeah. Next time, I drive the truck. You fight the freakers. Yeah, brother. Okay, just pull it over there. All right, you got it. <clears throat> all right, that's it. Head back to camp. I'll meet you there. <clears throat> all right. And, uh, booze man. Drive carefully. <laughs> what do you think? That I'm gonna blow myself up? Hey, Deke, you there? Hey, Ricky, what's up? There's still some work I need to do on the truck. Uh, I'll radio you when it's ready. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Deke, you sure you want to do this? They're coming, Ricky. Unless we take him out first. You're right. Okay, Ricky out.
Looks like everything's set. Yeah. Rookie rigged this up for the steering wheel. We drive right up to the front door, jump, goodbye militia. Okay, well, you sure you want to do this? I mean, it's a long way to drive with only one arm. Asshole. Look, Boozer, you and I both know it's probably a one-way trip. Yeah. Then I won't have to drive back. Fuck yeah, I want this. Oh, but there's just one thing. Only a couple of bikers will pull a dumbass stone like this. Just us. Yep. We're gonna do this or what? Goddamn stream. Looks like Ricky's coming after all. What's up, Deke? Nice jacket. Looks good on you. Ricky, Addy, I appreciate it, but Boozer and I, we, we got to take care of some stuff. Word gets around. Your speech touched more people than you thought, Deke. I told you, you can't do this alone. This, this is crazy. Oh, don't worry. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it for him. For Iron Mike! For Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Oh, and I hope you don't mind. I sent word to some of your friends up north. <laughs> Once word got around that we were fighting back, couldn't keep him away. Go! <laughs> Got word you were planning a little road trip. Stop these malicious sons of bitches from coming in here telling us what to do. Since you've done so much for us, thought we'd come along. We'll be glad to have you. Manny. Hey, you Deke? Nose down? Nose down, work hard, they feed you. Take you on damn fool errands, get your ass shot up. Man, you listen up. This no is a... way, no way. I'm staying out of this. <laughs> kidding me? The hot springs? Yep. I sent word to Alki. Oh, Alki. Tucker sends word that uh, she couldn't make it to the fight, but wishes she could be here. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. We, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your help. We're here to return the favor. All right. Okay, well, you guys ready to kick some militia ass? Yeah! We're ready to ride. <laughs> All right, listen up. The plan is simple. Boozer and I are gonna hit the north gate. We're gonna blow it to hell. Now that's gonna pull everyone at the south gate. And what you gotta do is just follow Ricky. Yeah? Are we ready? Yeah. Me too. Are we ready? Listen, I'm gonna radio when we hit the bridge. Don't go in and tell that. Okay. All right! Let's do this!
Go. Get your old lady. God damn it, loser! Oh, God Help damn it! Me. Are you going to kill every goddamn one of you? Tower.
Gotta get past these guys. Gotta get past these guys. Can you hear me? Already. Fuck you, you want me to blow us both to hell? God damn it, you hear that? Oh, hurry up! There, it's good to go. How many is that? Enough. Let's get back to the Colonel, come on. Captain Sarkozy, reporting in! We... 
How many explosives did you say? Captain, we didn't have time to set them all. Maybe you saw. What? God damn it! How many? Uh, it's, it's three! Three, three sir! Okay, okay. We're going down to get the detonator from Reaver. We'll hold the cave entrance. Got that? No one gets down here! Yes, sir. Understood, sir. No one gets down. Bible. And stay off this goddamn channel! You might have been compromised! Schizo. Oh, you son of a bitch. Three explosives. Oh, I gotta find them. Sarah and her herbal teas. But Matt can go to hell. Here's one. We got it disarm it. There. Okay, goddammit. Where's the others? I'm coming, Schizo. Wait for me. Where's that goddamn detonator? Fuck you, man! I ain't getting strapped in here! Weaver, come on, you know we follow orders. That's how it has to be! Where the fuck is it? Weaver, where's the goddamn detonator? Give it to me! I don't know what you're talking about! Schizo, you better let him go. 
You kill me? Yes, you son of a bitch! No! Hey! Hey! Get the hell out of here! Go on, go! I've got some people coming out of the North Gate! Go! Show you with my bare hands. You got that? Schizo. There was a time when I would have uh, dragged you out into the shit. And I would have left you to the freaks. But hey, hey, hey. I'm not gonna do that. You wanna know why? Because they would tear you limb from limb. But you know what? They wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> Huh. 
Shut up! All of you! I know what's happening out there! Out there! Outside the Ark! But it's out there! We are safe in here. Nothing can touch us. Do you hear me? God has ordained this place. This is consecrated ground. We are safe in this place. We are safe in this place. I don't know when or why, but I, uh, I, I saw something a, a month ago, maybe. I, I felt something, something I, I hadn't felt in a long time. And, um, and I know that a lot of you might have, might have felt the same way. And I, I think that if we just can, Deacon? I'll have your side on. Sit. Let him go, Colonel. It's all over. Your militia is done. Would you like some tea? I'm sure you would. Sarah, would you pour the drifter a cup of tea? The Ark was our only hope. You realize that, of course. When the world was cleansed, it was the only thing that would allow us to rebuild. Everything was here, protected, saved by the grace of God. <laughs> we never did find someone to play the piano, though, did we? <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter now. When all this is gone, there'll be nobody left to hear the music. You've destroyed us. You destroyed everything we worked for. No, Colonel, you did. When you started this holy war. You know, given the choice between you and the freaks, I'm gonna have to go with them, because at least when they kill, they're just looking for a meal, and they don't kill unarmed women. No! <laughs> Uh, could you set up a triage tent over there? Hey! Hey, there's a cave entrance over there. You'll find supplies and bandages. Get some men. Go. You, you, let's go. Ricky! Patty. Uh, does anyone hear me? I can help. I'm a doctor. <laughs> it's over. Everyone that wasn't killed or wounded by the blast pretty much just gave up. Where's Boozer? Move it. Ricky, I need attack. some help over here. The north gate. The south gate. Move. Ricky. My legs. My legs. Yeah. Hope you save some for me. Boozer. Yeah. Sorry I'm late. No. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I jumped. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Just you were... before I ran out of bridge. I saw yeah. the truck. No, no, no. I felt the blast wave. Even under 10 feet of water. Now, that was a ride. <laughs> <laughs> What? You didn't think I'd blow myself up, did you? Then who'd be around to bust your balls? I would. <laughs> hey! Oh! Hey. Little sister. Oh. Yeah, yeah, long story. <laughs> so, um... I hear someone's been looking for you. <laughs> what? Kind of wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah, I really don't listen to him. It was really <laughs> more his idea oh, than... Ricky! It. Eddie! Which one of you is driving me out of this shithole? It's all yours, brother. So I hear that you're staying on to rebuild. Not all the colonel's ideas were bad. Just the batch of crazy ones. You're the second person to tell me that. Who else? Corey? You know what? Fuck that dude. Hey, he left us here to rot. If it wasn't for him, we'd all be dead. Whatever, man. And I think we'll try this again without all the army man bullshit. <laughs> hey, you're gonna miss my speech. Nah, I wouldn't say I'm gonna miss it. Deke, hell of a fight. Yeah, that was. Manny, oh shit, look who's still breathing. Nose down. Nose down. You put on your face that way. <laughs> Not bad for a drifter. Brother. We did it. You did it. Ah, man, you know, I gotta uh, admit for a second there, I thought that you were um, gonna blow myself up. I told you I got shit to do. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, give him hell, brother. Yeah, here it goes. Jack would be proud. We did it. We did it. Come here. <laughs> See? Good things happen when you stop and light a candle. Well, this is sort of more of a bonfire, but right. yeah. <laughs> Never seen you give a speech before. Oh, it ain't gonna be a speech, okay. ma'am. <sighs> Shit, that's enough of that. Ah, uh, what does it mean that they're all good and quiet? Oh, yeah, they're waiting for you. God, it's your cue. <sighs> <clears throat> I know we got a lot of rebuilding to do, so I'm gonna keep this short. Look, I'm not a leader. Yeah, right. no, I don't care what you say, I'm not. But, um, you've done something here today. We've done something. We banded together to fight. Uh, not because some asshole told us to, but because it was the right thing to do. And you know what? We won. Yeah, I've seen you struggle to rebuild. I've seen you fight to save lives, to keep people safe, keep people fed. I've seen you sacrifice everything that you have, everything that you are. Make the world a better place. And see, that's why we're still here. That's why we're still here. Because if we don't have hope for a better life, 
or for a future that matters? Yeah. How are we fighting for? Yeah. You know, Iron Mikey, uh, yeah, Iron Mikey. he once said to me that, that we make the world what it is by what we do. Huh? What did we do? Huh? What are we going to do? See this? This is the first step. I thought you weren't going to give a speech. Yeah, I screwed up. Uh, how bad was it? You know, it was, it was all right for an outlaw biker. Outlaw biker, huh? <laughs> Are you ready to ride, old lady? I don't know. Depends. Where are we going?
Deacon St. John, how you been? Hey, Buzz. Okay. See you later, Deke. <sighs> Good to see you, Deke. Bunch of Alzheimer's patients, so only pissed off, They're stronger and It's like what you says, you hear a bunch of calling my name. Uh, here they are. Good. I do, sweetheart.
He's okay. Open up. Konnichiwa. So, and the more sergeant stripes, yeah? How you feel about that? I think it's fine. I miss Captain Kuri, to be honest. Uh, he, he was always good to me. Yeah, yeah, me too. Well, how about you? Do you miss the militia? Uh, I'm gonna have to give that a big no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. Goodbye, Deacon St. John. Hey, Deak. How you been doing, little buddy? Hey, Bergy. No, oh, okay then. Yes, it is. Right then. Deke, I'll catch you next time. That's all I got today. Hey, Deke. How's it going?
what's under here? Oh, another one of those uh, micro neuro injector. Just for the work done here. Field note one zero zero five. Collecting data from site eight one two. Bridge on Highway ninety seven. Since we last checked the motion sensor at oh eight hundred. Three days ago, another eight thousand Homo sapiens mutans turbo have passed through the site. That's a lot of horde. Do you know how many people lived in California before the event, Corporal? No idea. 39.25 million. Now assume that 50% of those were killed, either by the virus or by their kind and considerate fellow man in the aftermath. That leaves us with what? Uh, 20 million Homo sapiens mutants, give or take? I don't follow you. What are you getting at? What I'm getting at is that 10,000 is a drop in the bucket. Before this is over, there's going to be tens of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. Millions of infected. Coming right up this highway, like an angry mob of cannibalistic penguins following a bloody trail to the sea. Sir? Never mind, Corporal. Reset the motion sensor. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, I guess Iron Mike was right. We still get a lot of tourists coming up from California. It's just that they're hungrier. And they ain't as picky about what they eat. Weaver, I'm here. I know. Yeah, it's the Rippers. I'm gonna deal with them. Be careful, man. Weaver out. <laughs> Rippers, oh, oh, my goddamn favorite. <laughs> what is it? It's a little too hard for you on Iron Butte. How the hell did you get over the pass? Remember me, assholes! Who was that? Maybe head south, start all over again? No, no, that ain't gonna happen! Weaver, it's done. You don't gotta worry about no rippers starting anything around here. Hey, man. I read the report by that dude that was following him, Thompson. He said they call themselves Rest in Peace. Seemed to worship the freaks. Strive to be just like them. That they were hopped up on drugs. How the hell did you know about them? Oh, God. Well, let's just say that I had a couple of run-ins with them in the past. Um, <clears throat> anything else, Weaver, while I'm out here? Nah, man. I want to hear that story someday. I don't know if you do, Weaver. See you around.